Hey folks, today we're going to look at one of the really nice reports uh, that you have available to you in the SQL Server. It's called the Schema Changes History Report. Real nice one, but what we're going to do, just to make it simple, I'm going to create a brand new database so it's not loaded with a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to right click on databases and say new database. And I don't know, let's call it demo DB. Whoops, let's say demo DB. All right. So it, it doesn't matter what we call it. We could have called it cat, but, you know, I probably already have one. Okay, demo DB is all the way down here. That's annoying, so I'm going to just refresh this, and it'll move it up here. Okay, so here we go. Now, if we open this up, there's nothing really in it. You know, it's out of the box. There's no, there's system tables, but there's no user tables, okay? User table meaning stuff that human beings make or Klingons or what have you. Okay. I don't want to create a table from scratch and have you sitting there waiting all this time. So I'm just going to make this easy and I'm going to script a table from another database. So let's go into Acme widgets um, and let's take the sales order table and we'll say script table as create to new query editor window. Okay, so let's see if this has, um, what has that got on there? All right, so Basically, what we have, it's going to create this table with a couple of things on it. It's got a primary key. Okay, that's cool. Um, when we create this table for sales orders, um, it's going to record that in the database. All right. Now, the thing is, I can't run this script as is because it's telling me to use Acme Widgets. But see, Acme Widgets has a table called sales orders. So this will just get an error. Watch. If I run this, it'll just die. There's already an object named sales orders in the database. And I didn't, I don't know if you know that, but that's actually what SQL Server's voice sounds like in real life. Just kidding. What I have to do is I have to go where this says use Acme widgets. Instead, I have to kind of pencil in the name of the database that I want to use. Not a big deal. Whoops. And I, if I only spelled it correctly. There we go. Demo DB. So now this is going to make this database. What, and you want to see something really cool? When I hit this um, exclamation point, the execute button, it's automatically going to change that to say demo DB. Here we go. Wee. Okay. That was real exciting. Better than being on a motorcycle. Not really. Okay. Um, so now if I refresh tables, there it is. So let's take a look at the, um, the report now. We did all that. It wasn't really a lot, a minute or two. I'm going to right click on the database. You don't want to right click here or right click there. You got to right click on the database itself. And then you'll see this thing that says reports. Now, when you get here, we're going to look at standard reports. Um, you may or may not see schema changes history here. I use it a lot, so it probably just showed up for me one day. But here, no matter what, if you go to standard reports and then almost all the way to the bottom, the pentultimate one, schema changes history. Um, then you're going to see all this stuff here. So let me go to where it says uh, sales orders. And by the way, what I should tell you is these are changes that have been made on not just one database, but all databases. So that's why um, you see stuff for demo DB, but then there's stuff for customers. This table uh, isn't even in our database. That was from something else. But if we go to sales orders, okay, so let's go there. That's the table that we just made. And if we click on it, uh, these you have these things where you can open them up. This way it doesn't look overwhelmingly large. Uh, okay, so basically it says that we created this table on 4.15. Ooh, tax day. Actually, that's not till next week. I don't know why it's different. Uh, by the way, I did not do my taxes yet. I'm not sorry. Okay, so 11.49, we created that. Okay, great. Who cares? So what? But here's what's cool about this. It tells you who the user was that did that, Mertman, that's me. You know, like Mertman, Spider-Man, Superman, or maybe just Mertman. And it also says Mertman-Dell was the PC that I'm on, which is the name of my PC. So the cool thing, like you can tell that's who I'm logged in as. The cool thing about this is that people can't hide and say, it wasn't me, I didn't do it, because it, it says this is the login that did that. So that's good to know. Now, so far, we haven't really done anything remarkable. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to delete this table, or I'm going to drop it. Technically, it says delete, but it's really in um, in DDL. It's really dropping it. 
Okay, so let's just make sure that it's really dropped. Okay, it's not there. Now I can recreate this table again. So I just recreated it by hitting this button. Commands completed successfully. Yay. Let's see if it's really there. And of course it's really there. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we run that report a second time? Do, 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 do. I'm doing the Jeopardy theme music, but we don't have enough time. Okay, so now if we go to sales orders, there's going to be two more rows. So first we created it at 11.49, because we're awesome. But then we dropped it at 11.52, because it looked at us the wrong way. But then we felt sorry, and we went back, and we recreated it. And it was Mertman who did it all through. The guy is a menace. What a villain. Here's the thing, though. If you drop a table and recreate it, this has nothing to do with this video. But if you do that, it's not bringing in the records back. Those are all lost. So don't, don't do that just to play around with this. If you drop a real table with real data, there's not going to be anything left. But see, this... So anyway, this is what happens. Uh, one last thing. And it, by the way, if you get the hang of what I'm talking about now, you can basically stop listening. But... Um, I wanted to show you one last thing. Let's go to design, and let's just add a field. We'll call it S whatever, and we'll let it just go to Envericare just to save time. I'm going to hit that, do this, and now let's run this bad boy and see if anything happens. And look at this. It altered the table. I don't know why it altered it twice. There's probably some highfalutin reason for that. Um, oh, I know why. It's because it has to drop the table and recreate it. So it says alter. You would think it would say altered one time. But anyway, it alters it twice. Um, but whatever. But at least here's the most important thing. I know who did something, where they did it from, and when they did it. So, yeah, I mean, this is good information. I imagine in real life it's used as a chopping block to point a finger. But that's how this works. Um, if you like this video, please consider hitting the uh, like button. And uh, if you really enjoy this stuff, we come out with a bunch of quality videos. Please consider subscribing. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.